Hey everyone and welcome to uh, the first five minutes of using Open Bomb for Fusion 360. We're going to go through from the very beginning of installing, configuring, signing in, creating accounts, and creating our first bill of materials. So let's get started. We have navigated over to the Open Bomb for Autodesk Fusion 360 App Store page where we have signed in, used the same uh, credentials that you use for Fusion and we have downloaded the open bomb add-in. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that. You're gonna save that. You're gonna save that, run it. Um, you'll run it here, and of course, once you, once you do that, once you run it, follow all the prompts. Go ahead and open Fusion and open one of your assemblies. Now, when you, uh, when you switch to tools, you should see the open bomb uh, menu. If you don't, Visit the add-in page or the add-in dialog. Select Open Bomb. Say Run at Startup and Run. Okay. Now you'll see the Open Bomb menu, and you are you may see an uh, an indicator here that there's a new release. We just released an update a couple of days ago, so you can click on that, get that new release, and then close Fusion and start it again. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I've started Fusion again, and I'll start my favorite model. Okay, so now I've got Fusion running. Again, uh, I should uh, I should see the menu. Uh, immediately after I open my assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and open my bike frame assembly. We're going to use this to create a couple of bombs and stuff here in just a minute. And I'll go to tools and there I do and I see it and there's no update. Okay, so we have uh, we have open bomb installed. We have the latest version. We're going to click the open bomb um, icon here. And if you have an OpenBOM account, go ahead and sign in with it. If you do not, click the Create Account um, button. And we're going to go ahead and create an account right now. So let's, I'm going to create a new, I'm going to create a new account in OpenBOM. Is this just this easy? Choose my CAD system and choose a, Smart password. Okay. I'm just going to give that, that name there. And agree and create an account. Okay, and once I do that, I'll usually take, I'll, yeah, I may be taken to the Open Bomb account page, uh, dashboard page, where, where the uh, bills material and other things that we create will, will end up here. So that's the Open Bomb dashboard. For now, return to Fusion and go ahead and sign in to Fusion using the account that you just created. Okay, and you may see a message displayed saying uh, that you need a particular license to run the integration. You have a couple of options here. We either can jump over to the Open Bomb pricing page and buy a professional level user license or above. Or, or you can contact support at openbomb.com and request a trial. So after, I'll, I'll leave that choice up to you. After completing either one of those, you'll just return back to this dialog and sign in. And you'll sign in with your account that has, that is a professional level uh, or above. Okay. So that, that's good. I'm sitting in um, I'm sitting in Fusion. I've got an Open Bomb account with proper credentials. Open Bomb is installed, and I'm ready to go. I can visit the settings dialog and make some make some choices about what uh, properties I'd like to include in my bill of material. But for now, we're going to use the default, and I'm going to create a multi-level bill of material. So we're about we're almost five minutes in. So we're just going to wrap this up here and demonstrate what a bomb looks like. Terrific. 
OpenBOM uh, collects all the information about part numbers and descriptions and all that other information right out of Fusion, as well as any, uh, any structure. You can see that I have a couple of assemblies here that uh, are multi-level, so I can click on this plus and I can see the multi-level uh, and the lower parts that are in those other assemblies. And then finally, if I wish, I can click on the dashboard button and this will take me over to OpenBOM where I can um, open the, the assembly here and do some more work on it if I wish. So, so that gets us through creating a bill of material from Fusion. So what, what were the steps? We First of all, we went to the Fusion dashboard and we downloaded the add-in. Um, next, we opened Fusion and we made sure that we could see the, ad, the uh, open bomb menu. If we could not, we visited the add-ins dialog and we enabled it and we said uh, run on startup. We performed any updates that we might have. So we have the latest version of OpenBOM. We then use the uh, use this dialog here to sign in and provide our credentials. And if we didn't have an account, we created one. And then finally, we took a, a, a quick peek at the settings. We can we can uh, spend more time on the template manager. There's another video for that, but generally use the defaults to get yourself started. And then we created a multi-level bill of material, which was uh, created and displayed right inside of Fusion. And then finally, we can use the a dashboard button here to jump out of uh, the, the context of Fusion and continue to edit our bill of material in the, uh, in the browser. So I hope you find that useful. We always love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.